Welcome to the Service Autopilot Expenses screen. This is the screen you will see when you go to Accounting and Expenses. This video is to explain how expenses can be used in SA, help introduce you to the Expenses screen, and explain how to add an expense. Expenses in SA are a way you can record costs that have been incurred in an effort to generate revenue. This might be paying a subcontractor for a job you couldn't finish yourself, equipment costs, or advertising costs. While expenses can be billed to an account, they are tied to a vendor, so you will need to have the relevant vendor created before you can allocate an expense to them. Expenses in SA are primarily just a record. You can add notes or attachments, such as a photo of a receipt, but reporting is limited. You can export the list of expenses to an Excel spreadsheet. Expenses will also appear in the Profit and Loss Reports in the Report Center, but will appear as a total rather than as an itemized list. If you are already familiar with other list screens in SA, the Expenses screen is one where a filter does not need to be applied to see results in the table. The page will automatically load all results. You can still apply filters, create new filters, and edit the table for a more customized view. One thing you will see in common about many screens in SA is that any text that is blue is a clickable link. Click an expense date to open the review expense overlay. This review overlay is simplified so you can see all the information relevant to the expense. The blue text on this overlay is clickable as well. Click the text in the Assigned To column to view the details of how this expense is billed to an account or service. Use the Edit button under the Actions menu if you need to make any changes to the expense. Click Advanced Actions to see the option to add a note or attachment to the expense or to delete it. To add a new expense, click Add Expense in the upper right corner of the Expenses screen. This will open the Add Expense overlay. Select a vendor. The date of expense will default to the current date. Enter a reference number if you need to record a payment number that was paid to the vendor. Select a general ledger account. This is the account where the expense would be applied to in your record of financial transactions. Enter a description that describes the transaction and the amount of the transaction. If the expense is going to be billed to an account or job, click Unbilled. On the Assign Expense dialog, select if the expense will be billed to an account or to a service and fill out the rest of the dialog accordingly. You can add additional line items to the expense by clicking Add Line. Click Save Expense when finished. The screen will reload and you will see your new expense in the list. Thank you for watching this video about expenses.